Okay, we got 54 in the audience. Uh, so, yes, can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, we'll give it one more minute for people to file in. Thank you, everyone, for being here on time. good they're still filing in there's a line out there at the popcorn and pepsi line
we good to start? Yeah, I would say so. Mr. Daniel? Hello? Don. I'm going to give him a minute and then I'm going to start it. Okay. She may have taken a moment to get a drink. Am I still on? You guys can still yep. hear me? Yeah, we got you. Yeah. Fine. yeah, you're good. I was giving you a minute and I was going to start. You're, you're... We didn't know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, thank you for that. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll turn it over to our first item of business. Uh, Zodius, please do take it away. Thank you again for everyone playing here, though. I really appreciate you. Did you say something before, Don? Because you were muted. <laughs> Just... um, for how long? Uh, uh, we were talking and we said, Don, and I don't know if you heard us or not, but, but you were, oh my goodness. what you just yeah, started sorry, talking guys. was the first thing. So. Just to give you a little bit of background, I'm having some, uh, some communications problems. So I'm actually on my phone for this. Um, what I was saying was, uh, she is, it stopped me if you're if I'm repeating then I guess, but, um, we want to welcome you guys to this server where we want to have a fun, semi-realistic experience. And what that means is we're looking for the drama in the situation. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock says that life is, uh, or pardon me, drama is life, but with all the boring bits removed. So similarly, you know, how we don't have, even though we have incredible staff for role play, uh, medical, we don't expect that it's going to take eight hours for an open heart surgery. We want to get you through one exciting, fun RP encounter to the next. And we want to make sure that we have the type of player that's going to make it fun for the people around them. Uh, in other words, a good example. Pardon me. Another a good example is, um, you know, someone who's going to choose to drive drunk with their character because it makes sense in the in the context to do so. It's not necessarily in that character's best interest to, in terms of the, just a straight up meta. Um, <laughs> but we want the someone that that's going to go out of their way to uh, to create that sort of interaction. And um, you know, we have a lot of those players, and we're very thankful to have them. So, um, I was also going to introduce Dora. Do you guys hear me do that at least? No, I hope. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, <laughs> Dora is someone that um, that I met, and I know a lot of you met on Revival, which is where again we, a lot of us have met. And Dora has uh, exemplified um, the characteristics that that we want in our leadership. I know that she's going to do a phenomenal job. She already has been. Like, and honestly, she's had the mindset of a community manager from the very beginning, even when she was just trying to help in the like when she was just fresh into it. And she is the the sort of um, reluctant but uh, like good person to have the the helm of this ship. And I, I really am excited for what that means for insert name MRP for the future. So thank you very, very much. Um, not just Dora, but like also our, our amazing admin team for going through that field of thankless tickets and um, and persevering and, and trying to work towards the goal of fun RP for everyone. So thank you so much for that. Welcome. I hope you um, continue to enjoy your time here. And um, do you want to say just a, a few words to introduce yourself to the community? No pressure. Dora? Um, no pressure. Uh, hi, I'm Dora. I think everyone here knows who I am. And yeah, just don't get in my vehicle and we'll be all good. And I hope to see every one of you in city calling for Saffir and yeah. Thank you, Don. No problem. So um, I, I do have to say we've gone through a lot of change and no 5M server is entitled to success. Um, certainly, the the people in, here in this uh, in this group chat have worked a really really hard um, for a long time 
uh, to get you the server that we have today. And I'm talking specifically about our dev team. Um, but we're not entitled to you guys being here. And I, I there's there's like 50,000 um, 5M servers that you could choose to play on. We really are thankful that you've chosen to play here. We want to make sure that each of you has the type of fun that you want to have and that um, you never have the perception that it matters who you know out of character, who you're friends with out of character, how much you've maybe donated to the server, although we d we definitely appreciate that, everyone who does donate to keep the considerable cost of the server going. It's not going to change your character experience. And we want everyone that joins our server to have the same opportunity to have fun as everyone else. Um, so uh, I really do appreciate you all being here and and trying to give fun to even the people that you're um, maybe being <laughs> robbed by or robbing or like otherwise adversarial against. Like, I know that's very tricky sometimes, but um, we want you to think about everybody's fun, including your own, and, and try to give the best RP towards that goal. And we, we really appreciate uh, the, the level of quality RPers that we've inherited from other communities that have folded because it is very hard uh, to run a 5M server and keep it going. So um, we really are thankful for everyone uh, being here and choosing insert name RP as their RP home. Um, we have uh, suggestions for them for, um, for you to go through and, and, uh, and let your opinion be known about what changes you wanna see. We do take that seriously and read those. Um, and we have an open door policy. Uh, we wanna make sure that everyone in this community feels safe. Um, and we have a very zero tolerance policy on, on um, uh, the type of harassment that, um, that you just really wouldn't wanna see in, in, in this sort of community, but it's unfortunately very common to it. Um, I'll just leave it at that, but um, we want you to feel safe and, and that uh, we want you to be here for the, the long term uh, with the, the intention that you can feel like you can do anything you want in the server without having to know someone in particular. So um, with that said, we've changed a lot. And uh, from when we started in our like initial alpha to where we are now is a, is a completely different place. and. What we had uh, that worked as a 10, 15, the, it was never that small, very long, um, but like a 30, 40 player server, our rule set that we had at that point, um, it got us by, you know, uh, but it was never sufficient. And so we've, um, we've actually been working very hard, some harder than others, as Sordius will tell you, but um, uh, we, are ready to um, to let you see our new rule set. And we wanna make sure that, that you all have a chance to look through it when it's posted, uh, that you understand the new rule set and that you understand our intent behind all of these new rules, which cover a lot more situations and more detail, needed to happen, needed to be there. Um, but the intent is in delivering better role play situations for everybody, yourself included. So. Um, I do encourage you when that is posted to to go through it and and make sure you're familiar um, because we are going to be holding people to that that new rule set when it is pushed. So, um, but um, and it will be put as well in our F9 guide in time uh, so that you'll be able to see it in uh, in server on a ready basis. So. Um, Beyond that, I know we have a series of questions that we need to get through that our community has um, has sent through our Google form. Uh, one sec here. Uh, anyone else want to throw in uh, before we pr proceed? Anyone on the panel before we start getting into questions? No, we should probably. Um... Well, I, I'd like to at, at some point before we jump into questions. I, I don't want this to, we're not letting people come up and, and speak because this ended up into a two to three hour epic that, uh, you know, turns into um, something that not everybody really wants to uh, to hang around with and listen to, which is why we put in the, the question sheet so that we can get through this and be uh, fast and efficient with it. Um, I think some, just starting um, with some initial history, um, as, as Don had pointed out, 
Um, you know, there was a lot of people that came over from Revival. We saw some explosive growth that ended up happening back in December, just before Christmas. Not the most optimal time for it to happen. Just so everybody knows, we don't do this full time. This is a spare time thing. Um, we try to keep on top of things. We have a we have a great staff that 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 manages to uh, to get with that. We have a lot of businesses and things that we're opening, but we're trying to do this at a pace that is sustainable for us and everybody else so that we're not going to burn ourselves out and um you know just just so we can get people on this and as you've seen over the last little bit we've we've made a lot of a lot of changes towards some of the criminal stuff we're getting a lot of the businesses reorganized um and we're, we're taking a look at, at a lot of the suggestions that are coming through as well so please be patient with that and also understand that um, you know, we've had some select people in the community that are no longer with us that decided to abuse that and they're no longer with us. And I just like people to respect, you know, show us the respect. We'll show you the respect and we'll try to do whatever it is we can to, uh, to make sure you, that you can, uh, you can have what you want inside of the city. Um, there is a lot of work to be done still to be done. Um, and also making sure that we are, um, you know, looking at your suggestions and making sure that we're talking about those. And we, we do that on a daily basis. The rules, I think, are the biggest one, which I think everybody should go over. That is in the, I think Trevor updated it, in the rules channel under important info. I'd like everybody to kind of take a look over that. And uh, it, it is a lot lengthy, a lot more in depth. Um, there is certain things that will change over time. We'll try to keep you informed of that. Um, because there is, as you all know, there's no real clear rule, rule set in a lot of role play scenarios. So sometimes uh, part of our job and what we do is end, end up coming back to it and playing referee on some of these, and, and sometimes these end up solidifying rules to, uh, to be able to be added to that. Yeah, and unfortunately a lot of uh, the situations are so specific that it's, it's very hard to cover everything that can possibly happen in the scope right. of a like a slash report, um, but the intent is that um, we want to try and give you the best RP experience possible again. Um, so please trust that when we have to use our judgment in those cases, that that's the end goal that we're trying to shoot towards is is to try and um, provide the best playing environment for everybody. So uh, thank you, Zodius. That's definitely all true. Um, we have some questions to go through. Um, so we have uh, two questions each here. Uh, looks like some people use them. Okay, so will the F9 key have updated information in the future? Uh, yes, that is something that we definitely need to have. Um, I, I'd like to have uh, uh, our rule set accessible there so that, you know, you can uh, you can go through it at your at, on your downtime, you know, when you're waiting for things to happen, maybe. Um, but also, I, I know it's very it's very like cliche um, in 5M for a, like a player, and, and I'm not putting calling anybody out. It's it's something that everybody does. But um, have you read the rules? Yeah, yeah. Please do read the rules, like because they actually will help you. And um, in the event that you you see something happen in the server that you perceive to be a rule break, I would ask for your your great help in, in trying your best to RP through the situation to the best you can. And uh, at the conclusion of it, at that point to um, uh, to make a, a, a ticket or follow up with an administrative figure, um, just to try and make sure that everyone's having as good a time as possible. And um, there's definitely coaching that we can do, but we wanna make sure that the there's flow um, also, um, something that I talked about with Dora a little bit today, just as an example, um, we don't have a, a hard, fast rule right now in our document about um, someone carrying somebody else on, on a motorcycle. And this is often like a very convenient way for you to get your, your friend to a hospital if you don't want to answer too many questions, et cetera. You may have a wealth of reasons for wanting to do that. Maybe you don't have a better vehicle for it. Um, but what one of the knock-on consequences of, of other people seeing you with like a dude over your, your shoulder and you're on like a crotch rocket doing 120 is that it breaks their immersion. And yes, we have streamers. And yes, we, we are very, very thankful for the... 
um, uh, the influence that they've they've had in bringing like some important players to our community. Um, that's not the only reason. We really do care about everyone's immersion. And when when you see things that break that immersion, and you're the cause of it, it's not it's not a great position to be in. Like, and again, we want to get to the point where we're being considerate for others, to the point of um, medical help, like a down person on the on your shoulder on a bike. Really, the best situation is like stay with your friend and hopefully get medical, um, uh, you know, role players involved from Saffer. That you know, th that's literally what they're here to do, and to the degree that that you can accommodate that that very specific role play, I, I wouldn't ask you to try it and um, and see you know how great it is because we're very lucky to have the medical RP team that we have, just as an example. Um, and to to you know address the the our our poor cops as well. Like and I I say our in general, I think that um, RP cops have a very hard time of it. Um, in terms of um, dealing with um, um, uh, RP, because obviously your character's intention, understandably, is going to want to get away from them. Um, it, it is also technically escaping RP. So, with, and, and that's fine if it's skill based and that you're having a great chase and everyone's having fun. Um, I only bring this up if if you do what's called like rat strats. Uh, to take like a big jump that your vehicle really wouldn't survive, for example, and you get away from RP that way, that's not great on the cop side of things. Like, please think of the player on the other side of that and their their immersion um, before it comes to like a like a ticket report. Like, please do try as a player to uh, to give them the type of experience that they want. And then, and God, I don't want to. I I we talked about not wanting to lecture, but that's just the intent behind it. Um, so thank you everyone for being so cool about that so far. I know that we have a, we're very spoiled to have the player base that we do, but that, that is what we're looking for. Um, so next question here, uh, will we have, can we implement restrictions on the individuals being, in, uh, involved in scenes after the fact every traffic stop shouldn't have to turn into one V five cop and gang member scene. Um, that um, that is actually addressed very specifically in our in our rule set, with um, limitations on on how many people can you know get involved in uh, in a particular scenario. Um, most cases is six. Um, now, it, you know, and we, also we, third partying, which is really yes, what he's and, he's getting yes, at. Yes, of course, here. of course. But um, uh, please do again, like be mindful of that third party situation where you're injecting yourself into uh, someone else's RP scene. And it doesn't, um, again, from a player experience level, it's not the most fun thing. They, you know, both players in, in, in a confrontational situation uh, may be working towards something fun that may be drilled by the, the presence of, of someone else. So please be mindful of that. Question on that question. Um... Are they referring to one cop versus five gang members because they come up? Or are they referring to, I got pulled over and five cops are behind me? Because I don't, there's not necessarily a problem with that since cops typically call for backup on, and like I said, maybe I'm misunderstanding it a little bit. Right. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a case by case basis, but there, I don't want um, to limit so much the, the police response if it makes sense in the moment. Um, for the, them to have five cops behind you, if you're like a notorious criminal and you've been, you know, doing like really high level crime, and it's like there's a very good reason for that level of response. Um, I agree that not every traffic uh, stop, but it's a very hard thing to quantify in the the sense yeah. of answering this question. So, um, but yeah, that is something that we think about in terms of player experience on both sides, from the the, the cop and the criminal. Um, also, there is a follow-up question: uh, Will the black market be accessible to only gangs in the future? I notice I'm not in one, and can get in. Mm, yeah, okay. Um, uh, so, the um, I actually don't have a good answer for this. Anyone else? Is that a is that a mic answer? Like a digital that mic answer? 
it's a very hard thing to talk about in in terms of a community meeting because like we don't want to spoil your your fun and discovery. Well, um, it's like is it is it accessible but, to gangs only or is it accessible to people outside of gangs as well? I think it's pretty simple. Kind of a yes or no. Sorry, which which one was this part of? Will the black market be accessible to only gangs in the future? All I can all I think we can say right now is that it's going to have a rework and we can we can talk a little bit more about the the uh just in general some of the the criminal focus that we're we're going to be looking at. I mean, cuz a lot of these systems were put in oof, when like uh, September maybe and it links into a there's a question down the line about um are things going to change for for criminals and they certainly are um there's a lot of exciting things coming down the pipeline that i know you're going to want to talk about uh very little <laughs> and probably little. even less but um but it, it, it's just a fact that there's a lot of uh thought and development going on on that side of things um on that line uh, can people rob your motel room yes absolutely yeah. absolutely they can um, you have um, you have keys for your uh, your motel rooms, and they have functionality. So, um, if, for example, you um, you neglect to to pay, and the, the the room lapses, and somebody just you know innocently enough um, starts renting the room where you had a bunch of stuff in the stash, they have a bunch of your stuff in their stash now. So, um, similarly, if uh, if you lose your key. Um, they, uh, you know, and, and by the way, if you don't know, slash showroom shows the actual room number corresponding to the key that's on there. Uh, so you can find which uh, room is which. And uh, yeah, you can actually access other players' uh, stashes. But if you don't lose your key and your door is locked, people cannot break in to rob your room. No. And even um, uh, in in cases of if you're worried about say someone you know uh, being weird to get to like the the specific physical location of your stash there is a stash lock of course as well so i would encourage you to use that uh just in case but yeah that is not uh that is not something that that can be done in terms of just breaking into the door they need to have that key um can we get viable tow trucks to run private tow companies so this is um, something that I know we've talked about in terms of adding them for garages um, to potentially be able to be used. We're also very lucky to have our SADOT department. Um, Rusty, Mr. Balls, um, is doing a phenomenal job um, and has great, given us some great RP content um, running that, and uh, we're very thankful to have that. That's going to be um, the majority of like our our tow services, I believe, uh, just because they do such a great job of keeping that staffed and run 24 hours, um, pretty much, uh, or at least <laughs> close enough to that. Um, but it, yeah, that is something that we have explored in terms of adding it to garages as like a, a potential like commercial vehicle that could be bought. Um, but there's I don't know. There, there may be some, uh, some more, uh, you know, questions on the the dev side that I'm not aware of in terms of like access to those vehicles um, being special. So th I can only say that it is definitely something that we've we've talked about. Yeah. Short answer right now, and that is no. Um, things changed a lot when we had a focus of people come in and go, "Hey, I want to be a tow truck person," and that ended up with Rusty being in that top position. And he ended up bringing a lot of people on and bringing some structure to that. Um, so we're happy with where that's at right now. He has a he has a pretty large staff. I don't want to take away from that. Um, and most of the places that have it currently, most of the places that currently want it are uh, mechanic shops. And mechanic shops have their own little corner that they deal with currently. So I would say um, currently, no, there's no plans to do that. Uh, can we add company decals to the clothing so we can add patches on our shirts? So um, we have a sticker system slash stickers. If you're not familiar as a mechanic, um, to add cool stickers to your vehicles, there is no such uh, functionality for clothing. And EUP, as it's commonly called, like or custom clothing, in other words, for 5M, um, is something that is its own particular nightmare in terms of its uh, difficulty and complexity and uh, the level of 
um, like th there's only a few people that either know or have the patience to do that sort of work. And we're blessed to have the, the people that, that we've had uh, work on that stuff for us. So it's very hard for us to, um, to continually add that in. Um, again, short answer, no. Um, uh, but you know, is it EUP is possible, but it's not, um, it's not something that's going to be regularly added for, for certainly not for like companies. Um, will there be any changes to breaking and entering lock picking doors? So police will not be auto alerted in the sense that using a special lock picking kit from the, or using a boop, 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 or to disable security for like 10, 5, 10 minutes, or even a way to cut power to the area for a short time, just some ideas. Um, yes, th there's definitely a lot of thought that's being put into developing additional criminal content. Um, and I can't, um, I can't speak too much to that, um, you know, partly out of ignorance, but partly because I, I don't want to ruin your fun either. Um, Will there be more utilization clarification for the skills and what they do? Um, personally, I'd like to see the driving skill be able to help the scale the pay and drop rates for the taxi and bus. Um, so right now, um, I, I, it's not a spoiler to say that driving is keyed into taxi job and the skill system uh, in total is something that um, that that is very exciting to us uh, is going to continue to be in heavy development and more things will be added to that that you know we want to have those stats for a reason and um i i um i don't know so i don't want to get into too much trouble about like what's going to be tied to what but yeah, uh, generally speaking generally speaking it will be good to have the better skill number go up is good yes good Okay. Yes, number go up is good, but just know that that there is a lot of work to come up with what the plan looks like for skill systems, how those get implemented into scripts because it's not just oh, we just throw it in there and it does things with numbers and uh, yes, some of them like people have asked, you know, scrapping and I'm not I'm open to talking about this is like okay, well what does it do for does it make it faster? Does it make it slower? Does it do you increase chances? And at this point, when we put that in, I think that was one of the first ones that we put in for um, for uh, we put we put the skill systems into was was scrapping because it was a crossover on that. And I think currently it just allows you the different tools that you use from the screwdriver to that. We want to expand these. Um, you've probably seen it. It's added to garbage. It's added to. Um, it's added it's added to garbage it's being added to to drugs and all these other other things but some of them don't have aren't quite fleshed out to their max yet um mike could get up here and talk to us he says uh uh what did you say mike note that it's not required for level of play it's a bonus for doing the activity uh over time um and we'll 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 continue to monitor that and, and put stuff in but it is it's a lot of work to get that stuff put in and understand what it's doing and making sure of course that it works um, and it's balanced so yeah and yeah. to speak to that um adjustments have already gone in uh to that skill system for the functionality that it does have so it is something that is uh is being very carefully added in but yes that is definitely the intention to add more benefit to that for the various things but you know like zodia said volunteer team and and very talented but and we're very lucky to have them but uh limited so the, the this will be uh something you can expect to see over time um how are we defining semi-realistic i know this has very server to server and it's always tough to define but the influx of new players it'd be good to define the type of rp the owners and admins are looking for i don't know did i did i rant enough about that topic in general like do, do you think that we have to um more specifically to find that um i, I want to get you to the next fun drama bit at, in as short a time as possible right and that and and often we sacrifice uh realism to get there in terms of your rp fun um so again open heart surgery is very dramatic um you know can can be very complex rp is it going to take as long as a real life open heart surgery of course not we don't want you know the expectation is not that you have to have the real life job outside of the the video game job no, in no, order no, to I be want, able to I want, I want to have to use the toilet and i want toilet paper <laughs> you have to pay by the square yeah, we gotta have toilet paper i gotta wipe my butt 
And if you don't, you're going to have a message that says you stink like shit. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I think Mike talked about that once. Anyway. But does that, uh, do you guys think I, that we've talked about semi realistic and what, what our goal is here for that? Like, fun is the goal, fun, but also immersion and role play. Um, we've, part of why um, LEOs... I think our new rules kind of detail some of this out too, and, and some of them are left up to interpretation, but again, nature of role play. Right. Uh, Follow-up question, um, what is in the works for uh, criminals and gangs? We talked a little bit about that. Um, certainly, we have a lot of fun gameplay that, that has been put out, like, fairly recently in terms of a development um like time scale just in terms of like my experience being on like the the cringier side of 5m servers where you know in, in administration or whatever like um nrp has actually been pretty fast in terms of developing new um features and gameplay um but a lot of it is is brand new um and rather than settle for something that's half baked from you know some some contractor like selling a mod a lot of our scripts are are um you know home cooked i guess you could say and um and better for it um yeah i, I think you you guys have uh, one consistent report is that our server runs pretty well uh, on balance compared to a lot of the others we have a very very low crash rate um compared to a lot of other servers you may notice that we haven't had you know, a tremendous amount of wipes compared to certain other communities. I, I don't know, maybe that's not something you keep track of, but we, you know, we definitely want to have the experience be as good as possible. And all that um, being careful on the back end is so key to that. Um, we've talked a little bit about this next, oh, pardon me. Will there be more legal jobs and will pay increase a bit? Um, and there's a point here about, needing to grind too much and having it be at the cost of RP. Um, I do want to make the point that the worst thing that can happen for a lot of um, 5M characters is they get everything they want. Um, and, and by that, I mean, like, RP is often thought of as in terms of a, a journey. And we want, um, we want your journey to be meaningful enough so that when you get that, that midlife crisis hypercar, that it actually means something, um, and it's a goal that you you've enjoyed working towards. You can have a story about working towards it. Um, when you get that that fancy house that nobody else was able to get, that has a ridiculous price or whatever, um, it's been because you've had a story leading up to that point. It, it that is really the intent. Um, so there is a certain amount of grind that we actually do want just to be 100 with you, like, because we don't want somebody to be able to get everything they want and be a, for example, like a cocaine warlord um, with like a flying car or whatever, like, you know, within like two days of joining the server, that's not the experience we're looking for. We want it to be, again, semi-realistic, but, um, you know, to have a story and to legitimize using a lot of the, the reasonably priced cars and real estate that maybe wouldn't be used if it was very easy for you to go from your rusty emperor directly into your Vinewood Hills mansion. Um, so we do, we do want a, a certain level of that journey to be available to you. Uh, and there's certainly ways that you can make money fast. A lot of people have been very successful here. So um so thoughts on this is a very specific situation um uh, regarding like the the frequency of banks and evangelicos um i i don't want to harp on um on anybody um generally speaking like i i have noticed that and i'm not even talking about like our server in particular but like so a group hitting Vangelicos over and over um, to the point where it like exhausts the RP from the LEOs is not is not um, you providing fun for the server per se. It it it, it takes people out of it because the, these are you know these heists these scores are something that you know ideally there's some fun and in, uh, in the RP of planning around it and you know getting through it you know. Uh, 
and and you know laying low, etc., like licking your wounds, whatever the case may be. Um, so that it's not like um like it's a it's a worthy story beat, in other words, and not just like another step on the meta of something that you have to do in as short a time as possible in order to get the 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 cars or the, the house you want or whatever. Um any possibility to get VIN scratches or fake plates? Um it's it's something that um I can't really say too much about. Honestly, but um, it is it is something that um, has been brought up certainly, and um, but uh, even if we had that as a thing that was going to come in immediately, I I would be very hesitant to just talk about it because uh, we we do want there's there should be a certain amount of discovery in terms of what is available in terms of crime, um, but uh, it is certainly something that's that's heavily requested. Um, Talking about a uh, balance issues on banks and jewelry stores, uh, yeah, that's something that we've definitely thought about in terms of the payout for these. Uh, we want it to be worth it, um, but also, like, you know, it, to that earlier point, um, it can't be necessarily your meta that you, know, you the only way you're going to make money on the servers is through robbing a bank. Um, necessarily, it's you you can make a like a, a hideous amount of money from doing that if you're successful um but we just don't um we want it to be special when you do it if that makes sense to you all um okay so can we reduce the speeds of vehicles a lot of cops genuinely just want to do a traffic stop and a vehicle just pull over it allows everyone to have enjoyable rp it would reduce the wind mentality across the board this is not um, this is this is a 5M thing, and I think that um, again, it, it's very understandable. Like, what video game asks you to lose on purpose for the fun of yourself and other people around you? Like, and by lose, like I hate W and L. You know, that's not. It, it's often used in terms of 5M interactions, but like, again, the drunk driver. Like, what is the W and L in that situation? Like, you know, he's driving erratically, or she and is getting pulled over and making a fun interaction for the people around, um, the player knowing full well that this is like potentially something very bad for the character. Um, we want you to, to be able to have the, those, those great interactions. And I would encourage you, you know, if, if you run a red or whatever, pull over and, and, and you know, if, if it makes sense for you, you've not got like a body or like a trunk full of cocaine or whatever it is, um, that like is a legitimate, of course, reason to get away. Try it out, man. Like, like you know, talk to these guys. Like, they'll they're some of the best RPers you, you'll you'll get a chance to talk to. And you know, um, giving them a, a chance um, is is not necessarily a bad thing. And like, take it from a really sweaty like GTA Online like nerd. Um, we don't really care so much about how good you are at the video game. Like, yeah, it's it's great that you you've got a you know two point whatever kill death ratio or whatever in that game. Um, and that we know that you can PvP the entire server and like, but but why, bro, is kind of the point. Like we 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 care so much more about your fun in the story behind the crimes than your um we want your to be fans, we want to be fans of your character, not your skills. Yes. So thank you, Fast. That's a perfect way of saying it. Yes. Um, we we really want to know your character, um, so that that's that's kind of um, um, just interject. You skipped one that what I think we need to throw to Trevor to cover. It was uh, when can crims and cops <laughs> and vice versa. Next week, next week. Done. Okay. <laughs> now, not 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 joking. Well, it, you know what, within I mean, that time frame, there's there's there are there are some the restrictions, restrictions that will be explained on it. But yes, we are allowing that. I know that a lot of people have asked from gangs and also. And uh, and also um, people on the cop side, if they can do it, yes, we are going to allow that. There will be some terms around that. Some of those are covered in the rules, I think um, specifically. The rules. But yeah, there was well, there was it was there was there was a couple of other additional points that were added. But yes, the answer to that is yes, and probably within the next uh, two weeks. Um. Also. Um, lots of another question about the criminal activity updates that we're going to see. Um, I, I'll just again bring up that um, 
we we've had a big expansion of a lot of really cool uh, criminal scripting uh, behind the scenes that it, it's unfortunately it's something that we have a hard time telling you about um because a lot of it is like a progression to get to the point of some of these really cool things that you can do um but we don't want to ruin your discovery as well um uh, but yes, yeah, certainly we're going to keep working on that. That's incredibly important. We don't um, like anytime you feel though that that you, there's not a lot to do. I would ask you to go and find some that you haven't had RP with and and RP with them and tell a, an interesting story. Um, because like if you if you focus on the storytelling aspect of this, it's an evergreen situation. You'll never run out of content. Um, cheesy but true. Um, what is our long-term scope for the city or the the server? Um, fun. We want you to have fun, to have uh, the last stop on your journey of like going from 5M community to 5M community. We don't want you to have to leave here because of, of some weird situation at the top uh, or any other weird, you know, disappointing thing that can happen. We're We're trying our best to... Um, to keep your your path clear um, so that you are in charge of your own fun on the server. And um, yeah, that that is the goal. As cheesy as it is, um, I, I've talked a little bit about this before, like, and it's it's a hard thing to specifically convey, but um, I, I desperately don't want NRP ever to become a click server. Um, where someone joins up and they're like, oh, geez, I don't, I don't know the cool people here, so I'm never going to get ahead, and I'm just going to like keep getting you know, ocean dumped or whatever whenever I try to make a move or, or whatnot because I'm just, I don't know the right admin or, or anything cringy like this. And I, I know a lot of people out there that are listening know what I'm talking about uh, in terms of that, that experience. We, des we, we do not want to ever have that here for you. So... Um, Dora here being here, I think is going to um, do a great job with the tremendous power that she has now, <laughs> um, and in keeping us in line and uh, on on track and and helping us for the future. Um, next, um, why can't we buy boats um, now? Unless something specifically changed, um, I know that you can if you have a boating license, and boating licenses and aircraft licenses are special role play that have role play loops that you can actually access by asking around in character maybe posting on twitter um in terms of boating licenses i'll just say that uh right now you can i believe you can talk to an, uh, a law enforcement officer no um, no, oh, no, no 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 so i was trying to your... trying to interrupt you there don so oh, currently please. we have we have put that on hold um, we actually have somebody obviously that will run the FAA and they are, uh, getting set up and if not mistaken soon should be going, if they're not already, we, we will, we will hold on the boat licenses until we have somebody who's able to take over and set up with an approved community manager plan for training, yada, yada, role play, yada, yada. And then the police will like issue. Uh, specifically. Correct. So aviation licenses, when um, the FAA is up and running, we will obviously issue but boating licenses until we have a means to be able to acceptably issue those boating licenses. The police department is forbidden to give those. And uh, alternatively, everything is set up for it. We just need we just need somebody to come forth with a proper business plan to be able to manage that. Okay. Well, there's also I, some there's also it, some additional scripting that we want to bring into. Um, I think Mike and I talked about this the other day, um, where you're not just going to be able to take a helicopter or a plane or any of that stuff and just be able to get in and start it. Um, your license gets revoked. You can't do that. And I believe the same thing was going to go for boats, if I'm not mistaken on that one. Consequences. Yep. So I think that was the one uh, thing right. that was kind of holding some of that up right now, at least for that, at least that's for a both. change I wasn't aware of. So thank you for letting me know. I can uh, I can work on getting one of my characters a a, a sailboat when uh, yeah. when one of you heroes that's listening comes up with a plan to uh, to run the um, be the harbor master. I guess you call. It. I don't know. 
Um, but uh, okay, that that's something that that will be uh, facilitated through RP in the future, guys. Um, also, uh, I do want to mention one of the wonderful things that we've inherited from Revival is a Department of Justice. Um, Callie Pixie. Uh, we can bring, we can bring her up to talk about it if she wants to. I spoke to her earlier. Yeah, okay. Is she, uh, is she here? She should be. Can you, would you mind doing that? Can you, yeah, if I can. Uh, oh, if there she, she is. To. I got her. She's right there. Let's, let's get her. I'm, I'm awkward with my phone, so. There. Uh, Ms. Sloan, a.k.a. Callie Pixie, do you want to have a few words to the community about Department of Justice? I know you had said that uh, you just wanted to let uh, everybody know that you're here, but here you are. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm Chief Justice Amelia Sloan. A lot of you have worked with me in the past, and a lot of you don't know me. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Um... I know that DOJ is a rather uh, turbulent thing uh, here. I know that there was an established DOJ before I was here uh, that apparently didn't work out uh, as intended, and I am trying to make something that will work. Um, it takes time. If we're, if we're being 100. <laughs> uh, it takes time. Um, there's a lot of things that have to go into this and a lot of... Um, intricacies that have to be thought about because I don't want to start something half cock. Uh, I know that a lot of people probably don't see a lot of the work that's going into it. Um, and that can be frustrating. I know there are people that are waiting for expungements and people that are waiting for um, court cases to start and civil court and suing everybody under the sun. Um, and I understand that. And I want to facilitate that in a way that it's not going to crumble. Um, so we're rolling things out surely but slowly, uh, or slowly but surely. Um, currently, the main objective is getting a new penal code out. A penal code has been drafted um, and is being reviewed by community management right now. So that is on the way and will hopefully be out soon, um, which should help across the board um, for everybody. Uh, it'll be a lot more fleshed out. There won't be a bunch of superfluous charges that don't get used. Um, a lot of the times and fines have been changed um, to make it a little bit more fair across the board so that people don't feel like they're being unfairly fined or unfairly charged and having a lot of time uh, in Bolingbrook. Although some times have been extended to be able to help with corrections, to be able to provide them with some RP, uh, but you're not going to be there for hours. So don't. So don't worry about that. Um, a couple other things that are a little bit exciting that are going to be coming. Um, marriage licenses, officiants licenses, uh, name change requests, adoptions, divorces, um, family court in general will be something that will be offered. We're also looking at traffic court, uh, being able to fight traffic tickets, um, which also goes along with expungement court. People will be able to expunge their charges. A um, couple of key things on that. Expunging your charges does not automatically mean that you are free and clear. <laughs> so uh, currently the way that expungements are going to work is that after 30 days of not being caught, because we all know that you guys are still going to do your criminal stuff, uh, just be a little bit smarter. Don't get caught for 30 days. Um, you'll be able to go in before a judge, explain why you would like to have your charges expunged. You'll have to pay a fee for the court's time as well as to get them expunged. And then at that point, the judge will be able to expunge them. That does not mean sealing. It'll still be on your record. Um, but you will no longer be a, I don't want to say, you won't be an active felon because you won't have any active convictions on your record. This does mean that you may potentially be able to get your firearms license back. There will be a wait period. And some, in some cases, you will not be able to get your firearms license back. So take that into consideration when you get caught. If you plan on getting expunged, but I have a really good reason. <laughs> because you're going to have to convince that judge that you are able to have a firearms back. Because if you're just going around shooting a bunch of people and murdering people and doing dumb shit, a judge is probably not going to want to give you a gun back. Um, so that's coming, as well as... Um, 
civil court, you will be able to sue anyone under the sun up to and including SADOT, SAFR, PD, BCSO, LSPD, all of those. You guys can sue anybody under the sun. That is coming as well, uh, as well as just your fellow RPers. Um, he hit my car. Cool. Sue him for $5,000. See if you win. Um, you going to have, uh, you gonna have um, court, court fees for that? Um, probably so, not. So um, like, or loser pays or anything like that to prevent. Um, so there uh, will be purpose. some sort of, yeah, there will be some sort of um, fee for court's time and everything else just to make sure that we're obviously not getting totally overwhelmed with a lot of the stuff that's going to be coming in. Um, it won't be, you know, astronomical. Some of it will go to um, your attorneys. Um, I am currently, if anybody is interested, looking for attorneys, uh, both prosecution and defense. Um, I think currently uh, I have one prosecutor, which is my DA, um, and then I have three defense attorneys and one judge. Um, so we are looking for people. There's only so much that you know a handful of people can handle. Um, there will be a bar exam. We're currently trying to flush that whole process out. Um, but I'm more worried about getting the penal code out first, just so that you guys on the PD side have something to go off of. I know that there was a lot of frustrations because your guys' MDT didn't necessarily match the penal code, and there was things that you had to charge, but the charges don't look right in the MDT because you had to find what fit best. Um, that will no longer be a problem. Um, and uh, you guys will have something that is super easy to understand. Um, the community will have a penal code that they can understand. Um, so anybody that has suggestions, comments, concerns, questions about DOJ, just DM me. Um, I just don't want you guys to think that DOJ is not coming because it's been sprinkled here and there of whispers of us actively doing things. We are trying to do things, but it's a slow process because I don't want to have it, you know, roll out and then we get absolutely bombarded and then people, you know, get frustrated and overwhelmed and then the whole thing just seems for naught. So by all means, um, please just DM me if you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, want to work for DOJ, want to know how to help. Um, I am always open to it and I appreciate your guys' patience because it's very much needed. <laughs> so Thank that's so my much. little spiel. Cool. Yep. Thank you. And um, uh, we really appreciate you you doing that. So it's such an important role and there's a lot of really exciting uh, RP opportunities that I heard about there. Um, I'm sure that as the cases come up, if you ask about your legal options when you need them, uh, there will be options available for you. So uh, don't be afraid to use them in character uh, when they uh, when they come up. Um, last thing here, there's a little note. Um, it, it's basically talking about how there's like a hidden meta uh, to 5M where really think about the player on the other side of the screen in terms of like what type of experience you want to give and realize that even though um, someone may be playing a villain, um, they're not necessarily a bad person on the other side of the screen. And in fact, it's important that we have villains that often, you know, get stepped on a little bit um, because they're, they're going out of their way to, um, you know, to generate RP for other people to react to. And um, that doesn't make them a bad person in terms of like um, a player. So, you know, it, it, once you understand that and you're able to communicate with your um, attacker, so to speak, if you have to like, you know, arrange like times and this kind of thing, it does help a lot. And, um, you know, it's, it's a limited community. We're blessed to have as many of you as we do, um, but it's still a limited number of people. So, you know, you, you, the, the chances that you're going to run into each other, like over time, like, you know, even over different alts, I would really encourage you to, you know, keep the drama in the server to the degree that you can, um, because that's, that's where it belongs and we want you to have fun with it. Um, so, but I don't want to harp, and uh, we've been doing this for a while. We we wanted to go, um, I think we said 30 minutes to 45, and it's been an hour exactly now. So We're a little um, behind, though. Are we? Like, what else well, do we, we need started, to... Uh, we started a little late. I don't want this to go over an hour. 
from the time. So just, started. just a couple of things I yeah. want to say before we're done. Um, first of all, would be uh, the donators uh, for the ladies and gentlemen that have been submitting money. Uh, there's a link in the Discord that goes direct to NFO that pays the uh, towards the server costs. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for helping with that. That definitely makes the bite out of the fees at the end of the month much easier to handle. Sure, that so, doesn't go into anybody's pocket. It does, yeah. It the does not. It goes cost. directly. It goes it's directly server. to NFO. It directly pays for the server. We don't ever see it. We get a notification. The only thing I ask, though, that if you have donated, you'll notice some of us typing in chat have a little NRP logo at the end of our name. Those are people that have the um, server donator role. Anybody that is donated to the server gets that. So when they're typing, if you see that little NRP logo at the end of their name, that's because they are donators and we assign the role manually. So once we confirm, just open a ticket. If you've made a donation, put your email address in the ticket and we'd be more than happy to issue you the server donator role. Um, secondly to that, I'd like to thank you guys for your patience with finding the issue that we had yesterday with the house robbery script. We are trying to identify what that actual problem is. Uh, we will have to put some development traps in it and run the script until we can see if we can identify the exact issues. Um, please bear with us if we have another crash. That is the first time since Alpha that we've had a script that's actually yep. taken down awesome. the whole server. So I do appreciate all your patience with that. And thank you very much for coming forward and telling us. I believe there was two individuals that came forth and told us that they were the ones that were doing the house robbery script, which is what exactly matched up with their logs and uh, help us to identify it. So appreciate all you guys. Thank you very much for your help. We do the best we can, but we're not perfect just like everybody else. So thanks again. Yeah. Perfect, Trevor. Uh, Booth, uh, um, you, we, uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. Um, we're very happy to have you all here with us. Um, thank you very much to our devs in particular for working as hard as, uh, as they have. Our, our staff team, uh, Danny, Luciano, Thiessen, Christoph, uh, Ms. Smith, um, I really appreciate all of you. I'm just looking at seeing who's online right now, but you all know who you are, and it's, it's, a, it's an often thankless job going through those tickets, but this is us saying thank you. We really appreciate you and, and what you put into the server. It's, um, it's incredibly important. So... Um, but thank you to all the players out there for uh, making the time to uh, play with us and uh, be on our server as opposed to many of the others that you could be on. We hope that you keep making that choice and we, we don't want to take you for granted. So if you have feedback and um, you know if there's anything that you need to report, we need to hear about it. And um, thank well, you for being in RP. They're the ones that bring the city alive. Yeah. Absolutely. And just to right. just to speak quick, just to speak very quickly on on econ stuff, and you know, there was there was the question about like you know what what long term scope and things. We're still, like I said, since Christmas, we're still trying to catch up. Um, as many of you know uh, who've been here, and thank you for your patience with that. But crafting went away for a very long time because that whole system was broken. We were in the midst of working on it when. We had a massive influx of people. Um, we had to go back and fix systems for police. We had to fix systems for Sapper. We had to fix systems for SADOT um, to make sure that all of them were up and running. Behind the scenes, we were doing a whole number of things. Yes, the criminal element lagged behind. There was originally a plan before that happened to do a massive criminal update, and that got thwarted by all of this massive influx of us trying to figure out how to rescale this and how to catch up. Not to mention it happened over Christmas, which was the worst part. Uh, many of you know crafting is back in. Um, that's going to be expanded upon. Everything in terms of, oh, well, I don't make enough money from this and I don't make enough from that, I'm in a much better position to start looking over that. But as you can imagine, there's a lot of different facets to it. So it's not going to happen all at once. And I also need to be careful that when people ask things like, I want this to change, I have to look at it and go, what other things in behind that could potentially topple down if I make that change? Um, and especially with criminal element stuff. So we are putting that on. You've probably seen in the patch notes, there was a number of changes made. Um, one of those changes could have actually affected the house robbery system that, that we ended up having, don't know yet. Um, but we are expanding that out. But what I wanna make sure of is rather than adding in all sorts of new crap in that element, is that we take what we have, we identify that, we make sure that it all works, 
and then we can start expanding. Either it all works or it's garbage. We remove it, we replace it, and then we can start adding some new stuff in. But constantly balance changes, inflation, all of that stuff um, will be coming. It just needs, we just need to be very careful about how all of that works. Uh, that's all I want to say to that. But uh, totally open to suggestions. Don't just come in and say something sucks because I'm just going to defeat mm -hmm. that. If it's something that is requires a, a more private conversation, please don't DM me. Um, feel free to open a ticket. I'm, uh, as many of you know who I've had discussions with about criminal stuff, um, I'm pretty open to talking about what you know and where we can go to that. That's all I got. Okay. Well, I think that's been a good community meeting. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and, uh, and more importantly, playing um, here once again. Um, if you have more feedback for us, let us know. And uh, in the meantime, uh, when we end this, I'm, I'm sure we're going to bring back the, uh, the server. I know that um, there may be one or two things that we need to do on the dev side before that happens, but uh, it will be back up shortly after. Actually, John, I just hit I just hit the